In Montana's 100-member House, a supermajority of 60 votes is needed to take a bill stalled in committee and move it to the House floor for further action. But some Republicans in the House and minority Democrats are proposing to change that rule so that only a simple majority, 51 votes, is needed to remove a bill from committee. Democratic House Minority Leader Casey Schreiner of Great Falls says the supermajority rule on blasting bills from committee is not how the legislature should work. We've believed, and we have for session after session, that we don't even know if that's constitutional. So, so we're just, I'm looking forward to the opportunity of getting it back to where the majority of, of the people representing Montana have a say, and that's how we pass legislation in the state of Montana. This change matters because without it, House GOP leadership can more easily kill key legislation they don't like by bottling it up in committee. If only 51 votes are needed to take the bill from committee, the chamber's 42 Democrats can join with just nine Republicans to bring the bill to the floor and then pass it. But the supermajority requires at least 18 Republicans to join Democrats to move the bill, a much more difficult bar to clear. Republican State Senator Ed Buttery of Great Falls proposed the rule change last month, and it's been forwarded to the House Rules Committee. He says the Senate has always required a simple majority to overturn committee decisions, and that the House should, too. But incoming Republican House Speaker Greg Hertz told MTN News earlier this month that he believes the 60-vote supermajority requirement should remain. Um, I do like the supermajorities. You know, legislation should not be easy to pass. It's always good to, to make sure that legislation has to go through a process, so at the end, we end up with a good product. The House Rules Committee, whose members were appointed by Hertz, is unlikely to adopt the change. That means those pushing the change may have to fight it out on the House floor the first week of the session and get a majority vote to overturn the Rules Committee. But these competing factions could work out a deal, ensuring that a few select controversial bills advance to the House floor for debate and a vote. Whatever happens should play a role in the outcome of key legislation at the upcoming session. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News.